Hello everybody, Father Jeff Lewis here. I thought I might make another video regarding our Welcome Back initiative as we continue to get closer to our June 6 reopening of the Sunday Mass, so to speak, when the uh, Sunday obligation returns and we are, all of us, uh, at long last invited to come back to Mass. And as I think I mentioned um, in a previous video, I wanted to devote um, a video specifically to this idea of how can each of us individually uh, be an, a, an agent of God, an agent of hospitality and welcome uh, for folks and encouraging them to, to join us here at St. Mary, to either to come, come back to us here at St. Mary or maybe reaching out to new people for the first time. We've got to keep in mind that by the time June 5th and 6th uh, arrive, it will have been, um, I think it will have been a, a 15 months uh, since the whole lockdown began. And for a lot of folks, that's 15 months of almost complete isolation. And with that isolation, uh, an ever-growing um, kind of gloom of, of loneliness, maybe even despair, a disconnection from the wider world, Maybe a lot of folks out there who are our own next door neighbors don't have the same quantity of friends or family to check in on them and look after them uh, that many of the rest of us have. And so this is what I mean by hospitality. And uh, this is what I mean by how we can reach out to our neighbors just to check in. Um, it's one thing for, for me as pastor, for example, to be able to you know put up a billboard up on Sprague saying, come to St. Mary, we'll, we'll take care of you. We have done that, uh, but we obviously need to do more than that. We've got to do more than put up Facebook banners or, or other digital media online to kind of put our, put our name, put our brand out there, as it were, as a way of reaching out to people and trying to show them that maybe we're a place that could be home to them. In the business world, marketing is great, but nothing can ever replace the, the very simple and personal approach to marketing that word of mouth marketing is. Maybe we've heard of this before. You know, here's an example. Many of you know that that the car I drive around is uh, as a Ford Flex. It's this kind of smaller scale SUV. Now, the reason why I drive a Ford Flex is not because Ford Motor Corporation had a great, you know, advertising campaign. It's not like some salesman that I have no relationship with just suddenly appeared at my front doorstep one day and said, let me tell you all about the Ford Flex. I'm sure you'll buy it. Had nothing to do with that. I wasn't even looking for it. I was looking for a new car. That's it. But why I chose the Ford Flex, at least as a vehicle that I, of interest that I want to check out more in detail, was I saw a friend of mine driving one and I asked him about it and he loved the vehicle. That's word of mouth. It's because of him that I drive a Ford Flex, really when it comes down to it. And so, you know, that's marketing. That's trying to, you know, buy and sell material goods here on this secular planet. Now we're going to try to take those same principles and apply them to the spiritual life and the realm of, of the, you know, of the spirit and, and, and holiness and the pursuit of perfection and faith. And still, the the word of mouth is what, is what does the most work. You know, I can, as pastor, I can stand up at the pulpit and say, by the way, we're opening up our, our new RCIA class for the upcoming year. Please sign up. Oh, by the way, you know, we, we're we gonna put out a billboard and try to just, you know, attract new people to come to our parish. That might work. That might get one person or two. Having a really snazzy, easy to work with website might snag a person or two. But it's when each of us, if I go to my neighbor next door and say, how are you doing? It's been a long, difficult year, and I'm really sorry that I haven't reached out sooner than this, but, but how have you been doing? How can I help you? And you know, I go to this church, it's called St. Mary. I find a great, a great home there, a great community, and it's a great place to worship God, the God, the giver of all good things. And I would like to invite you if you would like to come to Mass with me some Sunday, and even if they have no idea what Mass is, if they have no idea who God is, but one thing they do know is that you reached out to them, perhaps in their moment of, of deepest need, just to check in on them, that heart-to-heart -heart communication, that heart-to-heart -heart contact and encounter. 
because they may not be able to see God right now the way that you and I can. What they, all that they can see right now is, is you in your face. And then through that encounter with you, a very human person, that's how they can start to encounter Christ. There are a lot of people right now that have maybe next to no hope, maybe no hope at all, and no sense of home, no sense of connection with anybody. They've been, they've been locked down, living lives of, of fear, perhaps, who knows what. And a, a simple welcome and a simple invitation and a simple hello might be what helps them to come out into the world and to encounter God in a new way. So what can we do? I would challenge each of us, first of all, to let's just take like, let's take a, a week of prayer, private personal prayer, make it part of your private personal prayer each day for the next seven days and ask the Lord, Lord, who are you putting in my heart? in my mind and in my heart, who specifically, and just be attentive, who consistently keeps coming up as you sit and pray and you're thinking about the people in your lives, who is always a common thread from one day to the next, from one thought to the next. That's possibly the person God is calling you to reach out to at, you know, soon. And let's do this for seven days, maybe make some actual journal notes. This person or these people, God keeps putting in my heart. And when we get to the end of the seven days, I would encourage all of you and myself included, let's actually reach out to that person. It could be the neighbor right next door. It could be the family member that maybe we've been estranged from for a long time. It's another parishioner that maybe we've been coming back to mass and we've always seen this parishioner at the mass, but we have not seen this parishioner at mass this whole time, even though we've been coming back to the mass. Maybe it's another parishioner. You know, maybe it's, maybe you go to gro grocery shopping like every day for what you need that day at the Safeway and you always encounter the same checkout line person. Maybe it's that person that the Lord is putting in your life right now for this purpose. So take seven days of personal prayer and ask God, who are you putting in my heart, in my mind? And at the end of seven days, you know, maybe five of those seven days, it's been the same person, same people. Let that be your cue. And then ask God the Holy Spirit to give you the fortitude to rise above our hesitant, our hesitation, our natural maybe kind of hesitation to want to step out of ourselves and reach out. Ask God for the fortitude to, to step out and to make a phone call, to walk on over and knock on that door and just say hello. So this is our challenge, but this is a good challenge. This will help us to stretch, help us to grow. And I think it will bear fruit. This will help our parish to grow. And most importantly of all, it will help them to grow. To, for them to maybe step out and to come to us and to find that here, here in the Catholic Church, it, they, they have a great opportunity to encounter the Lord every time they step through our doors, which is the most important thing of all, to encounter the Lord for our salvation, for our redemption, for our final entryway into the glory of, the heaven, of, of heaven itself. So, for your consideration... And um, as part of our Welcome Back initiative, I, I offer this uh, for all of us here at St. Mary. Thank you very much for tuning in, and God bless you all.